Well, you know, you're asking people to give up 50% of their income. I challenge anybody to be able to do that, or to be able to voluntarily give up 50% of their income and still be able to make ends meet at their homes. How you doing? Everything good? Same as you. I'm going to be in the same boat. Are you retired, sir? Right. And here's the package you're going to need. Right. Are you up for blessing? It's not well, the city's reaching out to us for our pension concessions and concessions on our Blue Cross to uh, try to bring the city back to whole. Uh, the, the cuts are substantial that they're requesting. Uh, the co-pays are substantial. The quality of the plan that they're offering is much lower than the plan that we have now. A majority of our membership is aging and simply can't afford reductions in their health care. The other option would be, as he said, uh, having to go to federal bankruptcy court. We don't want to have to force the city to do that, and we don't want to be blamed for it. Yeah, with your help and cooperation, we can put the city on a better path to a brighter future. Displays and banners and signs and so forth are prohibited, and I hope you'll refrain from personal attacks and disparaging comments. Again, the goal here is to address, uh, to, to provide a sustainable benefit so the city doesn't have to come this way again, so retirees don't have to go this way again. We were a very small community, so we were never able to really get very good salaries in Central Falls as compared to other communities that made, for example, when I was a battalion chief, my pay was equal to what a private gets in Warwick. So the idea of a pension and a benefit package was you didn't make a lot of money while you were here, but when you were done, it was kind of like they gave you a little present for, for, for working so hard and doing everything and taking such a low pay. Yes, sir. And now my pension is based on my pay as a battalion chief when I retired. So they want to take 50% of my pension. That's already 50% lower than everybody else. Excuse me. I was number one on that list. James Munier, oh, Thai right, police officer. Right, right. so, uh, uh, all right, this is unique. Sorry. I hope that the state aid comes through. I hope that the senators and the House of Representatives and all the people working in the governor's office realize that something has to be done to save the city. There's nowhere else to go. They said it was drastic. They told me it was drastic. I just didn't, you know, want to believe them that it was just drastic. They didn't put the money where it was supposed to go. Where is White House? Where is Jack Lee? Where is Langevin? Where, where are all these politicians? Worrying about a dead sea. Like, I hope this whole country goes down. Is it scary for you that, you know, all of a sudden you're going to have this money taken away from you? What are you going to do? Go on welfare. What else? Do like everybody else is doing. Like food stamps or whatever I can do. Do you have any other income? Yeah, I do. But I don't want to say anything.